Hi guys, today I decided to make a short video about this engine, some, some close-ups for you be, before I strip down this completely and show you the guts, so you can, do we have a light, yes, I'm gonna give you some close-ups, maybe it's gonna be some good info about for you uh, if you're doing some kind of project, before you start you can see that's your venus that's the variable valve timing unit solenoid exhaust side uh, exhaust uh, camshaft sensor that's the intake side that's the feed for the venus that's the oil feed for the venus that's the banjo bolt uh, thermostat as you can see I removed that before in the pre pre previous video you could see how I'm gonna show you the the thermostat it's just terrible you can see inside corrosion because of water instead of proper coolant that's the place where water pump is that's the water pump also looking not very nice big leak from uh, oil filter housing I'm gonna remove it later that's the main front seal on the crankshaft we're gonna move to this side that's the EGR valve I think it's working I tested before with the vacuum pump big leak from the valve cover gasket on top funny story one two three four different coils two different coils I think that these are original because it says BMW four different ones maybe market I don't know Bosch maybe but why you shouldn't have different coils on your uh, engine same as your spark plugs exhaust side you can see big leak from uh, from top you can see inside exhaust valves they're not looking bad Corrosion on the bolts on the screws. However, they came out easy. So Because I use uh, Penetration fluid That's why they came easy. I just removed one One manifold. I left the other bank That's the block. This is a Coolant drain uh, plug oil pan I just drain the oil because as you can see I messed up the floor <laughs> auto sensor chain tensioner easy to change if you need to that's the front cover for the timing let's go and see what's on the back this is a bracket for the for the wiring. This is the gearbox with which came with with the engine. Have a sample of the noise. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do a strip down later. I think there's there was no oil because I I can see the oil is outside, not inside. <laughs> Okay, you can see fuel rail. This is funny. One way return, uh, non return valve. However, it's so loose. It's just coming off. That's the intake side. It's very messy. That's the throttle body. 
think it's still working. <laughs> Injectors number six, number one, fuel pressure regulator, vacuum hose, which is going, I think, to the CCV valve. One is here. It was, it's broken. That's the uh, camshaft posi position sensor uh, intake side. That's the throttle body. Oil pressure sensor. Oil temperature sensor. I think if you check real OEM, I think that sensor is exactly the same as your coolant sensor. They, I think they have the same part number. So it actually doesn't matter which one you're gonna buy. Doesn't matter if it says coolant or oil. I think they are they are the same. So as you can see, big mess. Diesel valve. Diesel valve is a it's a valve which separates the intake manifold. It's separating intake manifold on low RPM. It's working basically like this. If this piston is sucking air, and next one is, for example, number two, there's a big long way between here for the air travel from here to there. So, this valve just separates that manifold. So the air stays in two banks. It's not moving between because if one piston is sucking air, when one cylinder, sorry, is sucking air, that air moves towards that piston. And if next one is, for example, number two, that air gonna go that way. So they separate the manifold on lower RPM to gain more torque, I think, or power. However. On high RPM, the diesel valve opens and the manifold works as normal manifold. Diesel valve very common for for problem, <laughs> same as other bits and pieces. Diesel valve, no problem today. You can buy kit to replace the the, the broken part, which is a small pin shaft holding a flap. If you lose that pin, big disaster might happen. So no, no, no problem with that. Same as I forgot to mention. Same as the Venus system unit. Inside two pistons with seals around. Over time, they just shrink like any rubber or or gasket seal, or whatever. But BMW doesn't supply them. Why? They, well, that was years ago, nobody do that anymore. But if your vein is f failing, you're losing like power, you have a ripe idle, maybe uh, more uh, fuel consumption and some trouble codes, and they can't change the seals. They want to replace whole unit, which is crazy. It's about maybe 400 pounds plus labor. So, Thanks to good people out there, someone found solution and j just made custom uh, seals. That's it, which is which are worth like maybe thirty pounds today. Job is not actually so difficult. I'm gonna show you how to do it in future videos. So, hope you I hope you like the series. If you have any ideas for new videos let me know I will try to make it because now I'm focusing on removing all the other bits some explanation how they work where you should be 
careful and complete strip down maybe clean and review of parts come come uh, I'll try to compare the main components which are different and causing problem on M54 which is oil consumption the biggest issue I try I I solved in my car